My name is Seamus Perry and I'm one of the tutorial fellows here at Balliol and my specialism is in poetry written in English, so both British and American of the 19th and the 20th and even the 21st century. My name is Adam Smythe, I'm also a tutorial fellow here in English and I specialise on the early modern period, so that means um, texts written in the 16th and 17th century, including Shakespeare. Um, and I'm also interested in the history of the book, which means thinking about how texts were circulated, printed, published, read, um, those kind of questions too. A key quality is enthusiasm, a delight in reading, in literature. We want you to really love reading and also to want to read new texts written in different centuries by different authors uh, in genres you've maybe not even heard about yet. And we want you to uh, want to think critically and thoughtfully about the reading that you get through, uh, to pause on particular passages and work out why this paragraph is particularly interesting or powerful or creates amazing magical, ef magical effects. Intellectual curiosity, uh, but also a great desire to read. Uh, there's an awful lot of reading to be done on the course. And if your uh, instinct when you have a spare moment isn't to pick up a book, then it may not be quite the course for you. Uh, uh, you can't study the Victorian period, for example, without reading big, long, great novels. Um, and if that doesn't appeal to you, then, then maybe it's not the course for you. Uh, but uh, it's a wonderful, rich and diverse course. Uh, and if you do love reading and you do love thinking about texts, then it, it, nothing better. It varies a little bit for different parts of the course, but most of the tutorials uh, and classes that I give are in the 19th and 20th century. Um, and typically uh, for a class, I would ask students to have read a particular text. So we all have a text in common that we can then discuss in the class. Uh, for a tutorial, um, they would write um, an essay of perhaps between 1500 and 2000 words. Uh, on a particular text that I've, I've allocated or perhaps something they want to do from their own choosing. Um, they submit the essay in advance, I read it, and then we meet and have a chat about it. One of the great things about the course is that there's lots of latitude, there's lots of freedom to develop your own intellectual interests. So particularly as you get into the second year and third year, if there are particular kinds of writers or questions or ways of thinking about literature that you're interested in, then we can pursue those. But yeah, if we're doing, a, for example, a Shakespeare tutorial, you would normally read two or three plays um, and you'd read some criticism, so some scholarship written by critics about those plays, and you'd write an essay and then you'd come to uh, a tutorial, which for Shakespeare would be normally one-on-one, -on -one. sometimes they're two-on-one, -on -one, meaning two students and, and one tutor, and we'd talk about your essay and then we'd kind of build out from that essay that you've written and think about what are the interesting questions that it raises that you haven't had a chance to explore quite yet and develop it out from there. For the tutorial, the student comes along and we begin by discussing that particular essay, their particular argument, looking quite closely at points they've made or close readings they've offered or arguments they've developed. And then we might say, that's a really interesting idea you've made here, but what if we add in this play that you've not looked at yet? So we might begin to look at that bit. Or what about uh, this critic here who you've not yet heard of? Let's read a page of that and see how that connects with what you're doing. So it's this gradual, hopefully, process of enrichment and expansion from what they've brought. And so by the end of the tutorial, <clears throat> we've worked on their particular essay, but we've also got a richer sense of a topic beyond that essay. Feedback to the essay takes the various forms. I mean, it can be um, picking up particular points in the argument that the student has made and thinking more about uh, the ideas or the arguments that are at stake in, in those points. It can be um, comment, a comment on the essay as an essay, how you can improve it as a piece of writing in its own terms, uh, and also what you can go on to do next. Uh, every essay is the first step in a journey to read more and to think more about other things and to write another essay. And those essays are not formally assessed during the course. They're ways of the student thinking about the text that we're talking about. So they're great when they work really well, they're exploratory and they're ambitious and the student might try interesting new ways of writing or thinking and not hopefully just repeat the same kind of essay over and over and over, but, but, but experiment with new kinds of writing themselves. We have a 
bright, able and keen students. Uh, always a pleasure to, to talk with about anything, including English literature. The course here is such a stimulating course to teach. Uh, it, it covers the entire range of English literary history, from Old English all the way through to you know, a novel published yesterday in New York. So the curriculum for each student, it's very largely driven by what the students' own enthusiasms are. The students are uh, uh, um, enthusiastic and full of really interesting ideas. And because there is that latitude in terms of the essay titles we set or the texts that we set and our capacity to respond to their own interest, you can see them develop as intellectuals, I think. And they're treated right from the start, I would say, as um, grown-up readers and learners. And uh, there's an expectation that they'll work hard and want to read new things. But there's also an expectation that they can come to a tutorial with their own ideas and with their own thoughts, which we can think through together. I think literary criticism is a, 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 a collaborative effort. When you're writing about Shakespeare now, you're not just writing about Shakespeare as a solitary person, you're also engaging with what Coleridge said about Shakespeare, with what Dr. Johnson said about Shakespeare, with what Ben Johnson said about Shakespeare. So there's something absolutely sort of conversational about the way that literary criticism works. And so talking to bright young students who are keen on their subject and have ideas of their own is all part of that, um, that l large kind of transgenerational conversation that the, that the subject is, is all, all about. It's, it's what T.S. Eliot calls in the great phrase, the common pursuit of true judgment. You, you work out what you think about a text by talking to someone about a text, either figuratively by engaging with other critics or literally by sitting in a room for an hour and talking to someone about the essay they've just written. There are lots of great things. I think the scale of the teaching is really wonderful in the sense that the year groups doing English at Bailey are quite small. There might be eight or nine, occasionally 10 students in a year group. And so those students move through the first year, second year, third year together, get to know each other really well. And uh, teaching takes place in classes or seminars where they, everyone is together, eight or nine, 10, but also through these small tutorials. And I think there's a real uh, level of uh, connection and uh, intimacy and directness in the conversation as a result, as a result of that. It's a very in individualized teaching system. Every student almost has a degree of, um, has, has a course of their own. Uh, that's what's so great about, about about teaching here, that, that it, is, it is absolutely sort of student-specific.